so continuing to our module 4 in the session today we'll be seeing the remix platform of ethereum i'll be sharing with you the remix platform live and describing you the features of the remix platform so today's session today's lecture is focused on the remix id of ethereum to begin with let us open the remix id to start with the remix id you will type in your google remix ethereum and the first option which will come will remix ethereum.org and you will open that website so let's click and open the website and show you how does it look and explore it further before we start writing the smart contract in it so let's see how does the remix id looks like remix is an integrated development environment it gives us a platform a medium where we write down the smart contract and the smart contract interact with the ethereum platform there are different ways to write down the smart contract and compile and run and test it but remix is the easiest and the quickest way we have found and we feel to deploy the smart contract it has various plugins which can be used to make more further uses of the smart contract so let's explore the remix the first step is you have to open the portal remix.ethereum.org as you can see on the screen let me highlight it remix.ethereum.org this is the portal you have to open the link in any web browser preferably google chrome because we have already taken metamask as a plugin for google chrome so we'll be using remix.ethereum.org in google chrome then it gives that these are some of the plugins so you can choose solidity though solidity is there by inbuilt as a plugin in it but you can click on solidity let's explore that what remix gives us in the very left corner there are different options the first option tells about the solidity compiler solidity is a language in which we write our smart contracts smart contracts are the code which are self executable which act as a bridge between a decentralized application and the ethereum platform a blockchain developer has to learn how to write the smart contracts it is the smart contracts which gives the permissions and which controls the transactions whether a transaction has to be executed or not it depends upon the code of the smart contract every node every participant have an address it can be verified in the coding of the smart contract that whether that particular address is allowed to perform something or not we'll be seeing this when we'll be writing some example smart contracts in further videos so a smart contract is you can say the soul and the heart of a blockchain platform especially ethereum solidity is the language which we will be using to write this these smart contracts as told before that every ethereum platform is having two addresses one is externally owned account the metamask address and the second is the smart contract address 
when we'll be deploying a smart contract, creating a smart contract, each smart contract is given an address. We can see the transactions done through that smart contract by going on ether scan. Similarly, we have found it for MetaMask also. So let's focus on Solidity compiler. So for Solidity compiler, we see that clicking on this Solidity compiler, there are different Solidity compiler versions. Solidity is a language which has evolved now. It has removed previous compilers. No, all these compilers versions are available. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. So these are different compiler versions. Now what is the need of these compiler versions? Solidity is evolving. It is doing certain changes in the code. So depending upon the code which you are writing, depending upon the compatibility of the compiler, you have to choose your code is compatible to which type of compiler. So for example, if I say that I am writing a code which is compatible by 6.12, so I'll choose 6.12 as my compiler. And depending on the internet speed, it will be included and uploaded into the Remix platform. So first step is that you choose the compiler on which you are going to write your code. Second step we move forward, we choose the second option given on the left hand side which says file explorer. This file explorer give us different files we are creating the contracts. So you can create a new file, the extension of the file is .sol. You have to remember that whatever file you create dot sol should be the extension as dot sol is the extension for solidity compiler so to create a new file you can directly create as you can see from my server cursor by clicking on new file or option is also given over here create new file new folder upload something options is also given over here so we can create a new file under contracts by clicking over here you can choose contracts and then you can click a new file a new file is and you can give a name of the file test.sol so you have to call it dot sol that is very important when you give it test.sol you can see that the symbol also changes and it becomes a solidity file now how to write a smart contract we will be seeing in the next video but let us explore Remix further. The third option is Compiler. That which compiler you are using, Solidity Compiler, we have already seen the language and then it says that compile your file. So we have not written any code, so no need to compile at the moment. After your compilation, it will give the name of your file the code which should be compiled so let's see another option what are the fields in this option yes the next option is deploy and run transactions after having compiled your file there are different environments which are available on remix platform the different environments are that whether you want to compile your file on a Java virtual machine hosted at London or on a Java script virtual machine hosted at Berlin. These two options are for your testing purpose. Whatever smart contract you will be compiling and deploying would not be recorded on any Ethereum network. So if you wish to record and commit your smart contract on an ethereum network you have to choose injected web3 as soon as you choose an injected web3 environment it will try to link it with your metamask account so 
this screen will open which will ask for your password give your password and depending upon the time it will link with your metamask account it will ask you that which account do you want to link with so if you remember we have created three accounts you can choose any account or select all and then click on next connect and your remix will be connected with your metamask account over here you can see that it gives the details of the metamask account that there are 6.25 ethers and which testing network we are using it also gives the name over here you can see that it is a go relay 5 testing network so injected web3 links with your metamask account through this metamask account whatever transactions you will be doing over here whatever smart contract you will be writing over here deploying it will be recorded into the ether scan into the testing network ether scan basically go relay ether scan it would be recorded as we have chosen go, re go early recorded over here so this is how we link the metamask and the remix platform next and very important thing and a very confusing thing is gas limit that what is this gas is this gas is a cryptocurrency smallest cryptocurrency of ethereum recorded in way one way is equals to 10 to the power 18 minus 18 ethers so this gas is the smallest currency whenever we write a smart contract certain amount of gas fees is deducted from our account as a transaction fees so what limit we want to set for a smart contract we can set it over here no need to change it let it be what it is so gas limit we have talked about let's see other things what is this value figure sometimes we write a smart contract where during the execution of the contract or during the execution of the function in the contract certain amount of ethers have to be transferred these type of smart contracts which take ethers are known as payable smart contract We'll be seeing this in detail when we'll be learning about a smart contract. That type of a smart contracts, we put a value in this value field. When the contract is deployed, it is visible over here in deployed contracts and transactions recorded. It gives us the records of the different transactions. We'll be seeing this when we'll be running a demo smart contract in the next video let's explore more of remix so let's see what is there in the another option solidity static analysis we do not need anything from this solidity static analysis at the moment so let's skip it unit testing also is not required this plugin manager is something which is very interesting so let's explore this plugin manager the plugin manager tells us that these are the things which are already active and these are other things which are available whatever you wish you can activate in it the one click tap which we'll be using after some time is also available and we can use it directly from the remix by clicking on activate over here so you can activate the one click tab also and there are other things also which are very interesting which you can use and explore we will also be exploring in further lectures which are available as plugins in this remix platform so having said all these things let us move forward and conclude with what are are the learnings in today's session so we have learned today about the remix platform we have seen that how this remix id looks like what are the different options on this remix id in the next video we'll be exploring 
more about remix and writing a smart contract and running it to see the performance and the working of remix then we will be devoting certain time to learn more about the smart contracts and solidity language thank you and keep on learning have a happy learning i